Hi Techie guys, uh, I am Nand Kishore Swami and today we are going to learn about UI automation. Uh, UI stands for User Interface Automation Tool. Uh, this is a Microsoft Windows inbuilt functionality and it comes uh, as a default application with .NET Framework. So basically UI automation tool is an accessibility framework that will provide you programmatical information of an of an running application on a particular desktop. Uh, and it is divided into the two different parts. Uh, one is inspect object. So it's a kind of inspect exe files here we see. Uh, although you will get it with the Windows uh, default uh, application, if you don't find it on your system, then you can certainly go ahead and uh, download it from internet. So you can open Google, then look for inspect.exe and then go ahead and just select the GUI inspect tool for Windows. And there you will find inspect.exe. Once you click it, it will start downloading and it is a small file, so it will be quickly downloaded on your system and you can save it wherever you want. So, uh, once it is downloaded, it will look like this one, and uh, when you open it, it will provide all the objects that uh, you have on your desktop, and these objects. Uh, programmatical influence say for example I'm uh, having a cam studio here running so the programmatical information of this particular button here these are the informations and here is the tree that we need to use while we are coding or we are, while we are controlling we need to manipulate any application then we need to go through this particular tree and now uh, let's start uh, how to use this with uh, Excel VBA code and uh, uh, I would also encourage you to watch my another video that is with uh, VB.NET if you want to use the UI automation with VB.NET so go ahead and open uh, uh, an Excel workbook and just save it macro enable workbook so i just saved it on my desktop so here we go so once you have macro enable workbook go to your developer tab if you don't see that developer tab on your uh, uh, system then you can go ahead and just go to file option and go to customize reaper and click here on the developer it will activate your developer tab and under the developer you will find Visual Basic once you click it. I believe you are already aware of uh, Excel VBA programming. So here we go. Uh, I already wrote a, a piece of code uh, that will uh, automatically log in one of the application that I'm running on uh, or that I'm trying to automate uh, using UI automation. So uh, let's try to automate uh, Skype and we are going to create a uh, macro that will automatically log into our Skype using UI automation DLLs. So the first part is uh, inspect object and the second part is the actual DLL that we need to refer in uh, or need to add the reference in our particular project uh, whether it is in an Excel VBA project or an uh, VB.NET project. So uh, this is an Excel VBA project. So go ahead and uh, add a reference. Uh, go to Tool References, and then look for UI Automation, and then just check it. And you can find it somewhere uh, where you will find the DLL that starts with UI here down the line. And uh, if you see an error message that uh, says error in loading DLL, then you can certainly watch my another video to fix that error message. Uh, you can programmatically add the reference to that particular DLL and uh, there won't be any error message. Uh, uh, how to fix that error? Y you can certainly watch my another video. So let me take you through the code. So I just declared a couple of uh, variable here on the top then the first element that we are going to set it uh, that should be the Skype application 
So let's open the inspect object and our first intent or first object is to set the user ID. So if I click it, if you don't see highlighter on your system then you just need to click this uh, little button here on the uh, inspect object application. So you will see these highlighters. So uh, our first object is to set the value for user ID and user ID control has this particular tree here. So we need to first create an object for this Skype, then panel, then panel, then panel, and then uh, this uh, internet uh, web address, then the uh, sign in with Skype or Microsoft account, then uh, we can reach out to uh, user ID control. And you can also see the tree, same tree here at the bottom. You can use this one. So our first object is Skype. As uh, we see here, so let's create an object for Skype first. The first tree branch. So I have created two generic method. One method if you have a certain information or a fixed information about one particular control when we say one particular control, uh, this is a user ID control and we have a fixed uh, identical information like automation ID here. Then we can certainly use one function and if we do not have an identical information and the, uh, the uh, identical information keep changing, then we can certainly use my another function. So say for example Skype, Skype may be written in a different way or it may be Skype with some username and Skype windows or something, then we can use another function. So I will just take you through the first function and then I will take you through the second function with the certain information. So if the information is not fixed, 